the fourth largest economy in the world has had the government tell Walgreens they will not be doing business with them anymore. Stock price is not going great. So what's happened? Extremists at the Republican Attorney General's Association, which Walgreens has given funds to in the past, has gotten Walgreens to make a statement that they will not dispense legal women's medication. And there's been some pressure put on Walgreens by conservatives in America to do this. And there's letters about it. Behind me is the letter from Kansas. And as you can see highlighted, they say they will not dispense medication. But that medication is not illegal in Kansas. Republicans just don't like it. Similar letters were sent to Alaska, Florida, Iowa, Montana, Indiana, Ohio, North Dakota, South Carolina, and Utah, where at least some aspects of women's health care are still legal, but the conservatives in America, the extremists in America, want it gone. So the California governor was quick to respond. They're not going to play politics with the life of women. The state will no longer do business with Walgreens. So Walgreens did respond and put out this statement. We want to be very clear about what our position has always been. Walgreens plans to dispense milfoprestone in any jurisdiction where it is legally permissible to do so. Once we are certified by the FDA, we will dispense this medication consistent with federal and state laws. Providing legally approved medications to patients is what pharmacies do and is rooted in our commitment to the communities in which we operate. Except we have the letters in locations where it is legally allowed to be released but you're being told by conservatives not to do it walgreens bent the knee at least in these emails so the question is will walgreens go on the record and say they will dispense it in kansas alaska florida iowa montana indiana ohio north dakota south carolina and utah at least or is there a different set of rules when a conservative attorney general tells you what to do with women's health even when the law doesn't agree with it.